So we will discuss the second question here. The product of a company passed through three distinct processes to completion. They are known as A, B and C, three processes. From the past experience, it is ascertained that the losses incurred in each process are 2 percentage in A and 5 percentage in B and 10 percentage in C. In case the percentage of the loss is, uh, in each case the percentage of loss is computed on the number of units entering the process concerned. Okay, yolo input po the other in the two percentage loss in time. The loss of each process possesses a scrap value. The loss of process A and B are sold 5 per 100 units. Upper normal loss would be a scrap value. Process A on the 5 per 100 units. Abina 0 0.05 per unit. 0 0.05 per unit. And the process C at rupees 20 per 100 unit. Abina 20 paise per unit. Namaka realize out. The output of each process passes immediately to the next process and the finished units are passed from process C into the stock. 20,000 units have been issued to process A. So input over the 20,000 units at rupees 10,000. Get the order 20,000 units, 10,000 rupees ki input da kutthar karanga, okay, idhi input at process A. The output of each process have been as process A output. Process A is 1900 being the output. Process B is 18800. And process C is 16000 being the output. So, I will copy this This is the exam point of view. This is the given notes. This is the exam point of view. 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 This is the exam point of Now, process A. You can join with me in solving this. You no need to wait for completing because there is no any complications here. Process A la units rupee per unit and total rupee. First, direct material input. 20,000 units at rupees 10,000 each. Abdina 50 paise. Adavira material labor manufacturing expenses. Material labor other expenses. 6,000, 8,000, 1,000. And uh, the normal as expected in process A being 2 percentage units rupees per unit as well as total rupees. 2 percentage in a 400 units may be lost, 400 units sold at 0 0.05 per unit, we recover 20 rupees, we recover 20 rupees. Output in the process 1 being 19500, transfer to process B. 1900. units we find that we lose another 100 extra than the expected. That extra loss will be named as abnormal loss. 100. As already told you, abnormal loss, abnormal gain, good, good units. In the moon or day, per unit value, one other. Now we have to find out the normal cost. Normal cost is equal to formula being normal total cost, normal total cost, normal total cost by normal output. That is the abnormal situation. That is the output. That is the normal output. Normal output. For process A, process A is the same. Total cost being 25,000, right? 25,000, 25,000. 25,000 minus 20 rupees subtract. 
square value recovered divided by normal output being here the input being 20,000 that is normal loss 400 normal loss but subtract 24,980 divided by 19,600 divided by the per unit value here being hmm? 1.27 if I multiply the abnormal loss as well as this one at this rate at this rate 1.27 is multiply okay 1.27 127 is the balancing figure up right if you have an abnormal loss value, you can get a balancing figure up. Rounding of error is 24,853. Balancing figure up. Okay, there will be difference. 25,000 and the balancing figure up is abnormal loss. It means the rounding of error is avoid. Clear? Correct? 24,853. Then we will go for the process B. Process B account varam bodu. Anga output ta arkadu na mangi transfer panna porom. Where we transfer from process A. Transfer from process A. 1900 units. And uh, 1900 units. Okay. Once again. Process A. 1900 units. The value being 24,853. Apart from that, we have introduced the other material labor expenses here the material being 4000 6000 1000 material 4000 labor 6000 expenses being 1000 and the process be the normal loss 5 percentage on the input so 1900 la 5 percentage put on 975 this normal loss will be saleable in the market at 0 0.05 per unit rounded off uh, scrap value for normal loss being 49 and output in process B being 18800 which is transferable to process C 18800 as I told you first of all you have to tally the units column if I tally the units column in this case I get abnormal gain. 19,775 19,775 and you get abnormal gain here 275 ok abnormal gain and uh, finished goods transferable to the process C rendered a unit price on the same outcome I am going to calculate that now so for the D B department for B process the total of the cost being 35,853 35, minus the amount realized being 49 divided by divided by 19,500 being the input and we expect a normal loss of 975. Abhina, normal output will be uh, less than 19,500 minus 975 will be the normal output. The ultimate value here being 1.9345 per unit. Now I use this value for the calculation of abnormal loss, uh, abnormal gain as well as finished goods today value. 1.9345 if I multiply this with 18800, this value being 36,336. And similarly here 1.9345 value the multiply this value being 532, 532. And on telling the process B, the total being 36,385, 36,385. Hope now you will understand this. Let us now move on to the last process, process C. Process C. Process C account. Where the output of the previous process will process will be the input here so which is transferred from process b process b you can write full right so p b input right 18800 being the input the value being 1.9345 overall value being 36336 
process B la the other expenses like material, labor and expenses. I am going to post that here. Direct material being 2000 and uh, direct labor 3000 and direct expenses or production expenses uh, 1500. 1500. The process C has a normal loss of 10% uh, on the input. So, the normal loss B 18800 10% is 1880. This normal loss can be saleable at rupees 20 paise per unit. If I multiply the 0.2 with 1880, the ultimate value here being 376, 376. And the output in process C being 16,000, that will be the finished goods transferable to the costing P&L account or finished goods account. 16,000 being the output. Before you close the process C, the first step you have to do is tallying the units column by telling the units column you can find is there any abnormal loss or gain of course here we have abnormal loss 18800 abnormal loss we get here being 920 as already you know that abnormal loss abnormal gain and finished goods in all these cases the per unit cost will be the same so i am going to calculate that here separately the total cost of the process c in the debit side being 42,836, 42,836 and the C product would be a cost on the normal cost on the 42,836 we have to subtract 376 whole divided by normal output, normal output is nothing but 18,800 input that 1880 will go off as normal output. Uh, the number being sub after subtraction 18800 minus 1880 now if we divide then the per unit uh, finished goods value at this process being 2.5098 2.5098 now i am using this value to find out the abnormal loss as well as finished goods value 920 abnormal loss units multiplied with the 2.5098 i rounded off to the nearest uh, whole number Actually, I calculated using the Excel sheet. So, then the number is more accurate. You no need to worry about the differences. Rounding of error, you can call up. So, here the value being 920 into this value being 2309 and 16000 into 2.5098. This value being 40151. Abnormal loss or abnormal gain value of port balancing figure on a finished goods value of port and the rounding of error would you avoid panicla okay i just said is that okay so as such now i have prepared uh, all the process costing process accounting for the process one a b c moon to quota but apart from that the main theme that you have to understand here being the preparation of uh, um, abnormal loss now abnormal gain as well as normal loss normal gain according your open money let me prepare those things here okay let's see here abnormal loss account abnormal loss account abnormal loss account abnormal loss in the scenario we got abnormal loss in process one so here process a level the abnormal loss being 100 units at rupees 1.27 the value being 127 and again we have the abnormal loss in process c so process c la abnormal loss on the 920 units at rupees anga vandu 2.51 round off pannikire the value being 2309 abnormal loss ah irundhuchna and the loss ah ninga market la normal scrap madri vithira mudiyum na edir paathadukkalum jaasi loss undu kriya indha extra loss ah vandu scrap la vechi and the rate ku ninga vithira mudiyum so cash cash for the process a la erpatta 100 in the rate vikkalam na 5 paise ku vikkalam inge so if i sell this for 5 paise i will get 5 rupees as well as uh, process c la irukra 920 anga scrap vandu 0.2 ku vikkalam appo 0.2 into 920 being euro 180 189 184 184 idukapra nama tally pannum na whatever whatever uh, whatever the balance you get you know that will be transferable to the costing pin that is transferable to the costing pin
2436 2467 we have abnormal gain only in process B. So, process B is abnormal gain. And debit cell is credit cell. Process B is 275. And uh, this value being 1.9345. The ultimate value being 532. Abnormal gain is actual loss. So, you have to adjust this in the normal loss account. 275 at what value of the Janaka and the process letter could be a scrap value which in a matches for no 275 into 0.5 putting the 14 rupees would be adjusted. If the poker balance circle that number can and solo abnormal gain credited in the PNL account or costing PNL account credit for every item 532 la 14 poker 518 518 can be credited in the costing PNL account and then we finally go for normal loss account. In case of normal loss, here is normal loss process A. Le. Process A and normal loss A order 400 units at 5 paise per unit can be sellable. Process B is 975 units, 975 units per unit can be sellable at 0 0.0549 and process C is process C. Le, 9 this can be sellable at rupees 0.2 then this value being 376 ana abnormal gain process process b la kammi irukum idha na adjust so abnormal gain That is process b la 975 varum the difference between these two 19500 ku 18800 difference 700 the scrap and the 700 into 5 paisa than you can do so now you adjust pan rent so abnormal gain on the abnormal gain on the edges pan up on 275 into 0.05 what is the value here 14 14 are the poker balance in the tally putting the value of the 445 445 and 431 being what? Cash. Amount realized. Scrap with the cash value. That is the abnormal loss. And the abnormal loss is the normal loss. The normal loss is the normal loss. The normal loss is the normal loss. The normal abnormal loss is the normal loss. The normal loss an abnormal gain in this normal loss in which and other cutting come in our other minus put which on the micron now just for now did the commission not get confused over this is that okay come on finish up copying this